Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I am going to take you through a full face tutorial. So we're going to do your skin, eyes and lips. Um, and I'm trying out tons of new products from Tarte. Yeah, if you want to see how I go from zero to hero, um, stay tuned. Thank God. Hey guys. Okay, let's just um, get, right, get right into it. First thing I'm going to use is the maracuja sea brightener so this is a tart eye cream i've seen quite a few of my favorite like youtubers and things using this product so i'm just going to use this underneath i've already put it on my upper eye um, i popped that on before i did my eyebrows um, yeah, I've already done my eyebrows the products i used were anastasia dip brow and i used amazing concealer around them as well. So now I'm going to prime my face. My face is relatively clean. <laughs> it is clean, I promise. Um, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I am nearly finished this. It's a bit distressing, but it's my favourite thing in the entire world. And if you haven't already noticed, I have no nails on. Okay. So I'm just rubbing that all over my face. Um, I've already kind of cleansed my skin this morning, but I... I know quite a lot of people like to use a moisturiser underneath this. I quite like it just by itself. There! I honestly can't like, I can't explain to you guys how much this has changed my life. I feel like, just go and smell it. So that gives you a really nice sheen to the skin. I'm going to go straight into my foundation now. Um, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This is the strangest foundation I've ever seen in my entire life. So, for example, I'm just going to show you up close. I would say you need about that much. That's not enough, actually. I'm going to put a bit more there. So, it's like a liquid, but it's not. It's like mineral, almost. It's a bit cray. But um, this colour's a bit warmer than my skin, because, obviously, my skin is warmer than my face. My actual, like, the rest of my body. So, I'm just going to use my Smith 115 brush. And we're going to put that all over. And I lie, this completely matches my face. So, a lot of people have been asking me what... It compares to, and I, can't, I I honestly can't see it compares to anything that I've ever tried before. Let me just go in a bit closer so you can actually see it. It's, it's phenomenal and it lasts surprisingly long on the skin. And and also the tube you get is like six, no, 50ml. You get a 50ml tube as well. So remember like foundations usually come in 30ml packages. So good value for money. Um, I would say the finish, if you don't powder, is very dewy and fresh, which is obviously my favourite thing in the world. Um, that's what I've been doing. I've been wearing this the last four days. Um, I just love it. Um, it's a little bit lighter coverage than the Marc Jacobs, because obviously if you've seen the video that I put up last time, I went a bit mental with that foundation and it was very heavy coverage. This isn't as, this isn't as heavy at all. You can kind of go in with quite a lot of product. Um, oh, I just love it. It's so different to anything I've ever used before. Um, I really like the way it photographs. I really like the way it lasts through the day as well. So I've, I've wore this to work. So I wore this to a, a really busy Saturday in the salon. Um, and it was amazing. It was so good. So I'm leaving out underneath my eyes. Going around my jaw. So this is actually, this is, this colour here was medium neutral. It's a wee bit light for me just now, if I show you my chest. Um, it's a wee bit light for me just now, but obviously I'm going to use bronzer, so it's fine. But it is a really nice colour actually, see because it's neutral. Okay! Underneath the eyes, I'm going to use the concealer. So this is the Maracuja, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm so sorry if I'm not. Maracuja, Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And I'm going to use it in medium neutral. Um, again, really weird texture. Like I have too much product in the back of my hand. There's still some left. But I'm going to squeeze some of this out. You need literally that much. See here? That's probably too much. But I'm going to use this under my eyes. So I'm just going to use a dual fibre brush. This, is on, this isn't a branded brush. And I'm going to stipple that on almost. Right underneath the eye. I'm quite messy with this. And I'm just going to kind of do the highlighted points of my face. I've been trying all of these products for like four days. I'm just going to blend that in with my foundation brush. And I am so impressed. Look how brightening that is. Oh, heaven. Okay. 
So I'm just using the same foundation brush to blend that in to the foundation. This concealer's sick. Um, you need hardly any of it. Again, I've got like loads left over in the back of my hand, which is so annoying. So fresh, so bright. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Lay and Low paint pot, just with my fingers and on the lid, just to cancel out any dark tones and prepare my eyeball for all the glam eyeshadow. I hope you guys realise I stopped watching Vampire Diaries for you to do this, to record this video. I'm going to go in with the little small brush from before and just get right in close to my lash line underneath. Wow! Super fresh! Super glow. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my under eyes straight away and I'm going to use MAC Accentuate. So I've used this before. This is a shaping powder. So it's slightly pinky toned, it's slightly peachy, so it helps lift any darkness under the eyes. Um, and it's got a really slight reflect, so it, lifts, it totally lifts on under eyes, which is so good. So I'm just going to pop that on underneath. Um, quite a lot of it just to totally mattify. And I'm going to do the same thing on my lid, just to mattify so it doesn't crease. And the brush I'm using for this is just the Smith 112 brush. I love these brushes so much, but they definitely need washed. Okay, look at that though. That's my under eyes all set. Fabuloso. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and just do my eyes now. So I've kind of stopped. I've got my eyebrows on. I've got my skin on. The palette I'm actually holding is what I'm going to use. So this is the Tartlet 2 palette. Um, it is unbelievable. It's one of my favourite palettes of all time. So this is uh, In Bloom, it's called. And I'm just going to use, start with my Sugar Pill Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to use the colour Smarty Pants, which is this transition shade here. And I'm just going to use that in the crease. I wonder what I should do with the eyes. Actually, maybe I should zoom you in a little bit. So I'm just going to start with that shade in the socket. Blend that out. Same on the other eye, obviously. And I'm just kind of working that product into the crease with my brush kind of elevated here. So the kind of elevation of the brush helps blend up towards the brow so we get that nice smooth blend. And obviously we start with a transition shade because we want it to be easier for when we go into the darker shades. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller brush. So this is the Smith 235 brush. And I'm going to go straight in with the shade Rebel, which is this one here. It's like a nice warm plum. And I'm going to pop that in the crease as well. Now these eyeshadows are super, super pigmented. So you just need a little bit. And obviously that's looking like I've got two big lines. So I'm going to go straight in with my sugar pill brush, a little bit of the transition shade as well. And we're going to blend those edges out. I'm just going in with more of the transition shade. If you're struggling to get the edges blended, just go in with the transition shade and kind of go over the line that the darker shade's making and use little rounded movements just to kind of help buff that out. Also, remember you've got your foundation brush. I like to just kind of go into the shadow and then see if you see. That kind of like picks up any excess. Now I'm going to go in with the darker shade and this brush again and I'm going to go under my eyes. And then I'm going to go back in with the sugar pill brush and the transition shade and just blend that out again. So just blending forever. Nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the shade Leader. So I'm going to stick to the kind of purpley tones. I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm going to use that to smoke out underneath. And then I'm going to kind of smoke out the outer corner as well. So using the same brush as before. And then I'm going to close my eye and just kind of go on the top of the lash line here. Well, 
literally can't talk about how much I love this palette any more than I am. Um, and then I'm going to try and flick away this fallout. And then what I think I'm going to do, I say I think so I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I am. I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is called Funny Girl. And it's just like a super light, shimmery, goldy champagne colour. And I'm going to go on my lid. Nice. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And on the inner corner as well. Now I think I'm going to smoke this out ever so slightly. So I'm going to go from the lower lash line and I'm just going to wing that out ever so slightly. It's like a super grungy but easy smoky eye. I love it. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Tarte Precision Longwear Liner. So it's just like a really nice felt tip liner. And I'm just going to go in the inner corner and just kind of darken the lash line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Nabla Black Pencil. And I'm just going to darken in my waterline. And obviously I look really pretty when I'm doing that. And I'm also going to use the pencil on the top lash line as well. So I just kind of look down and drag the pencil along. That's something that takes a wee bit of bravery, but it looks good. <sighs> That's the weirdest thing in the world, I tell you. I tell you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick some lashes on and then I'm going to be right back. Okay guys, I just stuck on a pair of lashes. I used Eldora M103s. So they're just quite flutty, they're quite nice, and they're not too heavy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up my pasty little face. Um, I'm going to use the Park, in, Park, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which is here. I'm just going to use that to warm up my entire potato face. <laughs> So I just kind of go around my jaw, cheek, I kind of I semi-contour I suppose with the bronzer and forehead as well. And I'm going to put a little bit of the bronzer either side of my nose as well. Like I'm going to leave my skin like that. Usually I go in with a darker contour product to really chisel in my cheeks, but I quite like it like that today. Um, almost natural. So I'm going to stick on a little bit of Becca Opal highlighter um, just on the tops of my cheeks. And then I quite like to go down the, just go on the top of my lip and down the sides of my head and then I'm going to change my brush to a slightly smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to get some product and then go on the very tip of my nose and then a little line just above almost like an exclamation mark now I'm going to go in with a blusher so my favorite blusher is peaceful from Tarte um, it's a really nice bright kind of corally color I have never been one for wearing blushers but I see the difference it makes in skin. It makes you just look 10 times more alive. So I'm going to get a little bit on my brush, smile, and just pop a little bit above the contour and underneath the highlight. Nice. Okay, now for a lip colour. Um, I'm going to have to go in with my favourite one. The lip liner I'm going to use is a Kiko one, and this is 504 Precision. And I'm just going to line my lips first with this. So I kind of, I still overdraw my lips quite a lot. So I'm going to start in the centre. And get the natural lip line first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out the top, so I'm going to kind of straighten it off a little bit. So I've kind of overdrawn just the top here, but not the sides. I'm going to push that up a little bit more. Okay, I'm happy with that overdrawing. 
And now I'm going to go in with my favourite shade of the lip paint. So these, this formula is honestly incredible. It is like a really nice mix of lipstick and liquid lipstick. So it's not the kind of liquid lipstick that you put on and it's really, really liquid and then it dries completely. It's not like that at all. It's a lot creamier. Um, it doesn't fully set as well on the lips. It's almost like a kind of semi-matte, but they're so much more comfortable. So much more comfortable and they wear really nicely throughout the day. You don't get that horrible line, do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just going to shove this on. So I personally just think that's the most majestic colour in the entire world, but you know, that's just me. Finally! Finished! Now it's up to you, I'm going to leave it there. You can powder if you like, you can set if you like. I personally, with this foundation, it's super long wearing. So see this little bit of my hands dry, so see where I try and move it. It's super long wearing, it's totally just the best. It gives your skin such a nice radiant look without looking too matte, but it is quite a matte foundation in the grand scheme of things. Um, but yeah, I am just 110% in love with Tarte and all the products that they've sent me. Tarte is a new brand to me. It's not something that I've used quite a lot in the past but I am so impressed with the quality of the product so obviously as always I'll link everything that I've used down below and um, I hope you guys like this video and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye!